Many men feel embarrassed to talk about this, but post-urination dribbling is actually very common. And it's not poor hygiene. It's something that most men will see at some point in their life. Something that might be embarrassing because we don't talk about it, but we all see it, believe it or not, very commonly. And this is actually something that might be a health condition that needs to be fixed. So in this video, I'm going to tell you the real causes and the simple exercises that can fix this condition at home. Why is it being cause and how can you fix it internally to make sure that any of the health conditions that you might be having go away. When most men finish peeing, believe it or not, there are some of these uh, parts of urine that stay inside our bodies. Depending on how we move, how we clean ourselves, or how much we wait after urinating, there is some part of that urine that is going to stay inside. And it may stay inside because you have a health condition underneath. You might have prostatitis. You might be going through a condition where you are trapping urine or your nervous system is not indicating that all the urine has been expelled and something or some part of it is staying inside. This can be normal, but many times it could be the indication of something even worse. But before I continue, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. I've always been surprised at the amount of people that watch my videos but are not yet subscribed. Maybe some video that I do publish in the future with something that I say that actually is meaningful to you could save your life. Number one, urine that is retained in a bulbar urethra. Our urethra in men is obviously a lot longer than in women. We have a penis, we have a member of our body that is longer and therefore has the effect of maybe retaining more urine in some part of this urethra called a bulbar urethra, like a bulb, like a, like a balloon if you want. And sometimes when we shake it around, we finish urinating, we put our pants up and we pull them up, there might be some of that urine that is staying trapped. We start to walk, we start to move, and yes, the urine that we had inside starts to go out. This is not poor hygiene. It may be just a way of indicating that we might need to stay just a little longer or shake it up just a little bit more to expel all the urine we have. In the long run, this could cause maybe a problem with hygiene, smells, and yes, it's not the smell of fertility. It's actually the smell of urine that some women or men might find attractive, but the reality is that this could actually be expelled or eliminated easily without the causes or the effects per se, of something getting worse in the future. You could have a urinary infection with this. You might not be cleaning yourselves properly or might see a hygiene that is worsening, worsening and therefore cause a condition, which is not common. These infections are not common because in men, it's a lot harder to get a urinary infection, but it's something that obviously could happen without you even knowing about it. If you need something natural that can help you stay healthy with that masculine member, look for virilitize, berberine, prostatine, curcu health, and apple or from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. Number two, weakness in your pelvic floors. Men and women have muscles in their pelvic floor, and this is exactly the kind of muscles you need in order for all of these other muscles and organs to be activated or finish what they started, in this case, urination. We need our pelvic floors to function properly. We need our nerves to communicate to our, pub, our, our pelvic floors that urination is happening in order for them to press themselves and make sure to expel everything that we have of urination that has to be eliminated. Obviously, if they are weakened, urine can remain trapped. And in this case, you will need some type of exercise like the Kegel exercises for men, which contract and relax the pelvic muscles sev several times during the day or maybe even in the gym you can make sure that you are sitting around standing up walking upstairs going downstairs and making sure that your muscles on your on your legs and your pelvic floor are actually being activated grown and functioning properly number three you might have an enlarged prostate. This is one of those conditions where you start to see that urination becomes trapped very, very easily. If you have an enlarged prostate, and by the way, the prostate is just like a nut. It's a, it's a very small gland, which if it becomes enlarged, will trap urine that is having to pass right through that urethra that passes right through that prostate. If the prostate is enlarged, then obviously it will close the way of the urine that has to be eliminated. And therefore, that's why dribbling might happen in a lot of men after they are 30, 40, 50 years old. With an enlarged prostate, you have a risk 
a very high risk actually, if you don't treat it, of seeing cancer in the future. So this dribbling you're seeing could actually be one of those signs that is telling you, hey, you have a large prostate, you have prostatitis, and maybe what you need to do is treat it before it gets into and transforms into a cancer. Not, a, not fun to have, by the way. So remember, if you see that you have that dribbling or you have difficulty starting to urinate when you go to the bathroom, or you have to stand there for like about a minute or two to wait for everything to be expelled, push so hard to that bladder to make sure that all that urine is leaving your body, then maybe you have a prostate that needs to be treated. Maybe you need something that can help you out like prostatine, Curcu Health, Appalizer, Burbrain, Virilitize. All these supplements will help you reduce that prostate gland in order for that urine to pass you can stop seeing the symptoms and at the same time you can prevent a cancer from ever appearing. This is extremely important by the way. Number four, neurological disorders that you might have and you don't know about. See, our brain commands every single organ in our body. Everything works by the command of our brain. Sometimes our brain is way in the back in the, let's say, order giving area, right? Your brain might liberate a hormone, the hormone tries to connect to some other gland, the gland function, yes. But the brain is the one who gives the orders and if you have a neurological disorder any of these neurological disorders where your nerves are deteriorating like a neuropathy maybe you have diabetes maybe you have uh, multiple sclerosis or any other condition that you don't even know about it's so mild that you are not even getting to feel that you have a symptom strong enough to be diagnosed with it but it can happen it can happen due to age it can happen due to bad circulation it can happen due to just simple simple living your life and going through life and aging right so if this is happening to you, make sure that you try to correct these nerves or feed these nerves nutrients that can actually help you along the way. Give it some vitamin B, vitamin D, something like Neuromatrix, B12 Forte, something like Burr Brain, Kirk Your Health. All these will help your nerves recuperate, regenerate, and function properly in order for that urine that you're seeing that is dribbling go away. Don't forget to give this video a like button. Don't forget to share, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.